hello my pretties how are you guys for those of you if you're new to my channel my name is pretty aura my website is theprettyoracle.com i have lots of things there that's going to be able to help you in spiritual warfare and of course okay cleansing which i feel like um is most important cleansing and protection okay all right y'all So, um, during one of the other readings, I picked up like an energy of massive rainbow, massive success is coming to your life after you release someone toxic. Okay. Now I've been picking this up. Um, and so here's, here's a few things. Number one, if you have already left this person, this is just confirmation for you. Okay. But the reason why I'm actually doing this read is because some of you guys are still around this person. Um, and I feel like they're using, they were using magic against you. If you check out, um, my read that should be posted before this, like I basically speak about, you know, I go in depth about that. All right. Um, there's a person that's like working against you behind your back for some of y'all with this energy of spying, um, and using divination tools to pry into your personal life for their advantage. This could be some sort of reader, okay, or spiritualist that you were cool with, um, that you were learning under or something like that, and then that shit turns sour, okay? For some of y'all, this could be an ex or a love interest or a friend that you was dealing with, because then it's another thing where we picked up in the last read, like, where the person, like, wants to wear your skin, okay? But um, another thing that I had wanted to say was there was another read that I did that was basically speaking about a bunch of abundance coming in, like blessing after blessing, like miracle type energy, shit that you would never think would happen. But because, you know, you're you're sitting in a positive light and um attracting this sort of energy to you, okay, it was coming and it was coming nonstop. But one of the things they were saying was that, um, you know, you're not going to be able to get that, okay? This massive success, there's people that's already on this timeline because they done already got rid of the people that they shouldn't have had in their lives, okay? They're already on this timeline. But this this reading is specifically for those of y'all who are not, okay? And that this energy is being blocked because you have someone around you who's literally blocking you. This could be someone that you're keeping in your energy, that you having sex with or something like that, and that's how they blocking you, or there's someone that you're telling your business to. Or they spying, you know what I mean? And you look at them as a, a an ally, okay? And they not, all right? And they around you, and they just peeping into your life and working against you. This person is someone who would compromise their integrity, okay? This could be a feminine energy for some of y'all, but this person is someone who would compromise. I mean, it doesn't matter, to be honest. It's going to be different for all of y'all. But, um, you know, this is a person who wouldn't mind compromising their integrity. For some of y'all, it could be an air sign with this um, ice queen energy, okay? So, um, yeah, it could even be fire. It could even be a fire sign. This person would compromise their integrity. Yeah, I don't like this. This person does. They say this person abuses um, spiritual work. Like, they abuse it. Everything is to their advantage. Me, 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 me. I feel like this person may have some, um, some alliances with negative entities, okay? With that, that energy of compromising their integrity is, is what it's given. Some of y'all, you can feel very uncomfortable, specifically around the moon cycles. And you know you, 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 you that's this person. Okay. Look, it says here, demon magic. Someone is using, someone is conjuring demons to block your blessings and bring harm your way. That's what I'm telling you. I feel like this person has some sort of demonic uh, contract. And it's against you. It could be against your life. But they're doing it for, um, for gain, for 
what do you call it when personal gain personal gain okay and also it says someone is is doing work for you to achieve something against you like with a voodoo doll that's why I was telling y'all before to get that dismantle the voodoo dog candle on my website. My website is right there, theprettyoracle.com. Okay, and get that. It's going to be um, in the spiritual warfare candles um, section. Spiritual warfare candles is what it's called. Intensification. Yeah, somebody is sending some sort of intense energy at you, okay? Like, it is. Like, they're sending intense energy. Yeah, you need to you need to create create boundaries. Like you need to create boundaries. Somebody is doing something that has to do with your um your home, your home instability. Yeah, look at that homecoming. Somebody got to doing some shit that got to do with your home instability. They don't want you to be stable. Um, y'all could have already released this person. Some of y'all could have already released this person. But for for this is for someone. These are for the people that have this person that's in, in, um, excuse me, y'all. Let me put my phone on do not disturb. But yeah, but this is for the people that have this person still in your, in your energy. Okay. And I'm doing this so that like y'all can, when, when these blessings start to get distributed, you will not be left in, you know, out because spirit, like God just don't be blessing no mess. Like if you, I, I've learned this, like if you have somebody around you that God feel like you're going to share this with, or you're going to give, the, you, you're going to have around you while you receive these blessings and you're going to wind up losing them anyway. Or if God don't want to bless an, another person and, 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 they, and God is blessing you and God know that you're going to bless that person because you're that nice of a person. God won't give it to you till you ready. Show me who this person could be. Okay. We have Aries. Show me who this person could be. We have Aries for some of y'all. Show me who this person could be. Cancer and Sagittarius. That's what came up in the last read. Cancer and Sagittarius. We have Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to pull one more. Scorpio. All of these came out in the last read except for Aquarius. I mean... Um, Aries and then we have Leo okay so that's just something that I want you guys to be able to look out for okay um now let's take a look at what they what they want where my um yeah with this spying and prying like they you they spying they could be getting readings on you this person could be a reader they could be a reader they damn self Or they get readings on you, okay? Um, we do have spiritual bath here. Take a spiritual bath to break curses and remove any negative vibes that have been sent your way. Theprettyoracle.com. I'm telling you right now, the pretty aura wash will be great for the situation and also the cord cutting bath. Okay? Spying. Show me the spying. We also have your spirit team has your back right now. You are not alone, okay? God protects babies and fools, and I feel like you being a fool in this situation. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. We've all been there. Nine of Pentacles. Someone is spying on you. Like this person is looking, checking out your finances or whatever. Somebody don't like that you about something about your home. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Somebody don't like that. I don't know what this is. Like they don't like that you're getting a home, or you could you buy you being ready to buy, buy a home. Or whatever the case is. They could be finding out something about your home. How independent you are. That you have money or you got money coming in. Or property coming in or some shit like that. Okay. Yeah. We have the queen of wands. They know about your um, your success that's coming in. Ace of cups. You're about to receive a blessing. That They found that out. And they trying to bring the tower to that. Okay. They trying to bring the tower to that. Some of you guys that's going through this, you might want to get this invisible candle, okay, to cloak you from people that's um, in your business spiritually, okay? They saying use a reversible, okay? Light to send ill intentions back to its sender. That's what they said. So if you're suffering from this, this is a problem for you, send that shit right back. And, and you, know what I, you know what I like? Let me tell you right now, right? I, you, I, I, I got this thing where... You know what I'm saying? That that return to sender shit. Cause I had a lot of people around me that um used to do things to me and smile in my face. Like, you know. Uh and um I would do shit. I would send I would send things back. 
and I would watch shit happen to people. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and sometimes, you know, it'd be the same motherfucker that be smiling in my face will get on the phone and be like, yo, you know, such and such happened to me. Da, da, da. Oh, for real? <laughs> I'm like, oh, word, damn. You know what I'm saying? Same way they, same way they sat and 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 watch and, and and collected information about my life and worked against me. Yeah. Now I'm on this other other end of this phone. I sent that shit right back to you, and 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 you have no idea that I know. You know what I'm saying? But I know and I find out because when I send the shit back, whoever whoever's life it materializes, it, however it manifests. If I see something happen to somebody around me, it's like, yeah, you, okay. That's what this is going to be. That's one of the things, especially if, look, that's one of the things, the ways you're going to be able to tell who this is. Send that shit back. Okay? I don't always do reversibles, but when I do, okay? Look, your magic is working and your prayers have been received. You guys could just pray about this situation. Pray to send it back. Again, we have this voodoo dolls energy, Okay? person that was close enough to get something of yours anyway that that energy about your prayer your magic is working and your prayers have been received also saint christopher came out you guys could check the last read about you know how i speak about he came up in the last read about helping all right protect against death and sudden sudden accidents and shit like that all right so we have um this energy of your spirit team and you not a, not being alone. That's why it says your prayers have been heard, okay? So that, that clarifies that, y'all. Let me see what this demon magic is about. Tell me this. Somebody could be, like, see us sending, like, demons your way. Hungry. I feel like, I feel like hungry, hungry demons, like, like, just real evil, you know? Things that want to scare you. Like, I feel I feel them wanting to feed off your fear. Yeah, with this four swords energy. Okay, this could, this could really be like so somebody sending something to try to harm you. That's why working with St. Christopher would be, um, would, would, would help you. Okay, keep it, like I said, he protects against sudden death and accidents. It could be two men that's doing this to you. And I'll be picking that up a lot. Y'all know this, this male coven that I'll be picking up all the time. Show me this. Somebody, look what I said, death. Th this person is doing death magic. And that's why I said working with, that's why that card came out about working with St. Christopher. Okay? Whoever this, pers this person is, they sitting in your face and doing death magic on you. You sleeping with them and they doing death magic on you. It could be a Scorpio too. Remember the Scorpio energy came out. What's the show me show me for somebody who needs to know what's the relationship between them and um and this person that's doing this to them? What is the relationship? What's the relationship between them? Six of Pentacles, you could work with them. You could be helping them. You could do deals with them. Exchange money with them in some way. Yeah, you could you could have helped them before. What's the what's the um relationship? The empress, somebody for somebody this could be your own mother, or you could be their mother. This could be your child, your 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 grown adult kids or some shit. You could be their baby's mother. What's the um? You could be married to them. For some of you guys, you could have had an argument with this person. It could actually be drama, okay? For somebody, this is a known hater of yours. Like, you, you do know who it is. Two of Cups, this could be some sort of soulmate, okay? Some of y'all, this spell has already been broken. I just saw that um, in my deck. It said the spell has been broken. Like I told y'all, this is going to be, this, this reading is going to reach people that's on two different timelines, but, but, timelines, but I feel like the people, um, this is really for the people who need to know if this person is still around, y'all, okay? Your spirit team is here. So, you know, whatever this is, it, it feels like it, it, it's, it's not going to materialize. But, the, but what we're trying to figure out is, 
And what our point is, is to make sure that you get these blessings when they start rolling in for everybody. So whether this magic that this person is doing is going to work on you or not, if you don't get them out of your energy and away from you, and if you don't cut ties with them, you will not be receiving this abundance. Again, St. Christopher came out. I told y'all. This is to protect you against accidents and shit like that. I'm telling y'all to hit that reversible. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. A hit or return to sender however you do it. Because you ain't necessarily got to light a reversible to return that shit to the sender. I'm telling you right now. Um, somebody might get hurt. And if you if you okay with that, go ahead. If you're not, I wouldn't. I happen to be an alpha and I kind of chick. I do not give a fuck. <laughs> Word. I just don't. Okay? So we have destroy everything. Like to destroy all negative influences in your environment. So you might want to get a destroy everything candle. I feel like whatever this is, is to scare you. Y'all could be seeing shit, hearing things. Like this is somebody who's sending demonic interruption into your life. Okay? Like that destroy everything candle. You could light it on the floor. You can even get a red candle. Um, or a black candle and light destroy everything on you. You know what I mean? I, w I would say red, to be honest. Um, but that's just how I think about things. I know what different color I want to, you know, what to, to match with whatever type of energy, to carry out whatever type of job I needed to do, right? I would say red. Even purple, okay? Even purple. But red is fiery and passionate, so that would be the first thing. So, yeah, it says, ask your ancestors for advice or permission. Like, I really do feel like that's that's the main thing, asking your ancestors for advice or permission. You could um, play mantras in your home, loud mantras, okay? Um, uh, the kind of frequencies that, that demons can't exist, you know, around, stuff like that. Cord-cutting mantras, um, you know, um money mantras after you do all of those cleansing and clearing type of mantras okay to bring in the prosperity because it seems like they're releasing they're releasing demons into your environment and your space to try to ruin you okay so you got to bring back up the vibration um raise back up the vibration you can even light a domination candle to stay on top of this this type of situation all right you guys sign that shasado is going to work good for destroy um for um evil destroying evil and trampling over your enemies the candle looks like this right here i mentioned it in um, the read before this, but I'm going to mention it again for those that didn't see. Okay. And plus it came out just now to so step over your enemies. But a lot of you guys who have not received any of my bundles, you don't know that all of these things that I'm saying, these, um, these things that I'm saying that could help you or whatever. And that spirit is pointing to, I already put these things in my bundles. Okay. So if you're interested, I would say, go ahead and, um, and order a bundle. Let me just pull a little bit on the characteristics of this person. I don't know. I just want y'all to get this individual away from you. Show me the characteristics of this person. But somebody, you know, um, to help you. It's going to be somebody who always want pity. It's going to be somebody that's always asking. This could be like um, somebody who always want a donation or always want like always asking for money. This could be somebody that always needs something. And, and they have excuses too. It says posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. And using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. This is what I was telling y'all about this. Whoever, this could be a reader or a spiritualist or some shit like that that's doing that. Shay, Shay, Yeah, now we have this knight and this alchemist. So now we got this hoe-ass individual. This is a this is a hoe-ass man. Okay, I don't know why his butt, like why I feel like his butt is tooted in the air. This man may have... Um, a specific type of butt. Like there's something specific about this man's butt. He could walk in a certain way. This man could like to wear loud colors. There's a specific hoodie that this man has that is like paisley print or um or um this man could be in a gang. This this hoodie could be like loud colors. It's just loud. You know it's loud. This man could have a bang, which is weird, or comb his hair to the front or some shit like that.
oh, this could be a um a scully hat. This guy could like to uh, wear a scully hat. There could be a heart tattooed on this man somewhere. For some of you guys, this man bought you a bag that has a heart on it. This man is an alchemist. He he definitely misuses the knowledge and the power that comes with um spiritual practice. Okay, he's abusing magic. Y'all, I'm not even about to say ciao. I ain't saying it. But somebody, this could be your mother. Okay, like I said earlier, this could li literally be your mother. Okay. Um, somebody you grew up with. I feel like you, I feel like, I feel like whoever this is, you was all good with her. There's something here about um, how this person's hands are unusually large. I always pick that up. Whoever this is, you've known them from since, you know, you was a kid. I don't think, I don't think this is the same person as this, uh, man -ho. This is a, oh, this, 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 this matriarch, um, person is a bully. Like, whoever it is. This is a matriarch person that's a bully. She might wear big hair. I feel like she always got something nasty to say. She's very messy. It feels like she just talks to everyone and, you know, uses people to her advantage. I hope I was able to shed light on things. Hope it helped.